Hey guys, the video that you're just about to watch was taken from my online medicine interview course, which consists of a number of videos to help you guys do well in your medicine interviews. If you guys would like some more videos on how to do well on the interviews, there are a ton of free videos over on my online course. A link for that will be in the description down below. So feel free to go check them out. I've been giving interview courses over the last two years. So I really do hope you guys enjoy the course and find it beneficial. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so now let's talk about coronavirus and what effect that might have on our healthcare system in the future. Future. And as I'm sure you guys have probably guessed, I really do think that coronavirus is going to be a huge, huge topic to focus on in regards to preparation for your medicine interviews. And I, I, in my opinion, you can almost expect it to come up in one or two stations at least. So in this video, I'll be giving you guys uh, some pros as to what we've learned from the whole coronavirus um, pandemic, and also be giving you guys a few cons or a few uh, things to think about in regards to how it might affect our future in healthcare. So let's get started. The first thing we've learned from coronavirus and how it might help us is it might actually improve how we respond to new diseases in the future and also the diseases we have today. For example, we'll be able to deal with the increased demands for certain resources, such as personal protective equipment, which we did have a problem with uh, during the coronavirus pandemic. And coronavirus did highlight a number of problems within our system. For example, sourcing things like PPE for our staff. Learning how to deal with the lack of resources is definitely something we've learned in this process and will definitely allow us to deal with new uh, novel viruses or novel diseases in the future. Secondly, kind of relating to the last point is that it will give us better training for tackling uh, infectious diseases. If there's ever a disease in the future that arises very quickly and very drastically like coronavirus, we've learned how to you know, source PPE very, very quickly. We've learned how to build uh, hospitals within a couple of days to house a large number of patients. And these are very, very key skills that we've learned with coronavirus. Not just to do with any disease at all, but in particular to do with infectious diseases which you don't really see too much of in this country because it's a very clean country. We have antibiotics, we have different types of medication available. So knowing how to better deal with infectious disease is something that we've definitely learned from coronavirus pandemic. Another pro from the coronavirus pandemic is that risky behaviors such as uh, drinking, uh, doing drugs and unhealthy eating were actually reduced as a result of the coronavirus lockdown. And this also could potentially reduce the number of diseases associated with these unhealthy behaviors. Moreover, the reduction in the number of cars on the road meant there was a reduction and air pollution, which may also possibly reduce the amount of cardiovascular and respiratory problems in the future. Moreover, the rates of trauma happening from, let's say, road traffic accidents and also uh, stabbings and things related to uh, trauma would have also reduced during the pandemic and possibly uh, shortly after that as well. Let's go on to now talk about how coronavirus will definitely have an impact on our healthcare in the future in the negative sense. The first negative impacts that coronavirus could have on our, on our patients and our healthcare system is that before coronavirus actually happened, a large amount of our diseases that we treated were to do with patients that actually have long-term conditions. And these patients and this cohort of patients during the coronavirus pandemic were not able to access the same level of care that they had prior to coronavirus pandemic. The reason why is because many outpatient clinics were all cancelled, meaning that the patients with these conditions were not able to receive their normal routine care that they would have done before the pandemic. They were not able to go into hospital if they had any complications to do with the treatment or to be seen by a doctor in time as regularly as they normally would have. This means that the coronavirus pandemic could potentially have reduced the quality of care for patients um, with long-term conditions. So we may start to see an impact on the actual health care of patients with these long conditions over the next coming years. Because of these cancellations and because of the inability of these patients to actually go see their doctors. In the next coming years, it may actually be very challenging to restart the routine care for these patients and the number of days on the waiting list and the waiting times to actually catch up with all these patients that we missed out because of the pandemic and also to new patients being diagnosed today are likely going to affect us over the next coming years to come. The second point is that we may actually see an increased incidence in certain types of health conditions. For example, and probably the most common disease that we'll see an increase in is mental health issues. Because of the coronavirus lockdown and because of the strict isolation policies that were held during lockdown, we may actually see an increase in mental health conditions such as depression and also other conditions linked with this. People who already had um, some form of mental health uh, illness are probably the ones who will be affected most by uh, the lockdown procedures and people who already had depression or other mental health conditions may have actually had their condition worse and during the coronavirus pandemic because of the lockdown procedures again and because of the isolation that was in place. You may also see an increase in 
incidence of other health conditions, for example, those associated with a reduced physical activity. Because of the pandemic and because everyone is in lockdown and because for a couple of months, people weren't engaging in their normal physical activity that they normally engage in, we may actually see an increase in obesity, an increase in diabetes, and also an increase in hypertension as well. Because of the pandemic and because of the effect on healthcare, we may actually see a greater social demographic difference in healthcare with the poorest people being most affected by the pandemic. We do know there is a link between social demographic background and also health. So those people who come from a lower social demographic background will definitely have a greater impact on the health. And in these populations of patients in particular, we may actually see an increase again in certain health conditions such as obesity and diabetes. So groups of particular concern, such as those with mental health conditions, single pregnant mothers, and people from low income, low socioeconomic backgrounds will definitely be at a greater risk of seeing this social demographic difference between uh, healthcare and the people within this population will definitely have a reduced uh, healthcare and this will definitely affect the NHS and the healthcare in general over the next coming years. We also may see an increase in mortality in babies and also decrease in the health of babies actually being born uh, following the pandemic. We do know there is an increased risk of mortality in being born uh, during a recession. So because of the effects on the economy again, because of the pandemic, we may see an increase in mortality in children and we also may see a reduction in the health of these children being born during the pandemic. For example, again, in the Dutch famine uh, that we saw uh, many years ago after World War II. During that time, there was a huge famine and a lot of pregnant women were not receiving the nutrition they normally should have during pregnancy. Because of that, the kids that were born as a result of this actually had health problems that developed later on in their lives as a result of having inadequate nutrition during their mother's pregnancy. And this might be something that we see as well during the coronavirus pandemic. Another pro from the coronavirus pandemic is that risky behaviors such as uh, drinking, uh, doing drugs, and unhealthy eating were actually reduced as a result of the coronavirus lockdown. And this also could potentially reduce the number of diseases associated with these unhealthy behaviors. Moreover, the reduction in the number of cars on the road meant there was a reduction in air pollution, which may also possibly reduce the amount of cardiovascular and respiratory problems in the future. Moreover, the rates of trauma happening from, let's say, road traffic accidents and also uh, stabbings and things related to uh, trauma would have also reduced during the pandemic and possibly uh, shortly after that as well. So those are the impacts that I think the coronavirus pandemic will have uh, on our healthcare system and in our healthcare in general. I do hope this gives you a good framework in regards to knowing what revision you need to do in order to answer this question. 